Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from Skill Builder, and I've been fitting roof windows for more years than I care to reveal. And when I first started fitting them, there really wasn't any choice. But now, there are any number of different windows out there, and to the untrained eye, they might all look fairly similar. But in the next few minutes, I want to show you why Keylight has now become my preferred window of choice. I've come up to their training center and I'm gonna show you some features in the key light window which have got real benefits both for the installer and also for the end user. The first thing I wanna show you is just how easy it is to fit a key light window. And this is the reason why so many builders are changing over to key light. Now, if you fitted other roof windows, you'll know you have to get the brackets out, the instructions, find out where to screw the brackets on according to the type of roof covering. With Keylight, you can forget all that because they actually put the instructions on the top where you need them and they also fit the brackets. And all you have to do is work out whether you're using slate or tile and take the appropriate color tab out according to the roof covering you're using, flick the brackets up into place and you're ready to go. And that's made the job so much easier that you can actually fit this window from the inside of the building with the glazed sash in place. Now, if you try that with any other window, let me know how you get on. Keylight say that you can get their roof window from the box to the roof in two minutes. Now, some people don't believe that, so I'm gonna put it to the test. So, set your stopwatches, and away I go. Now, that was to show you how easy it is to fit this window with a glazed sash in from inside the roof. But I fully accept that at some point you might want to take that glazed sash out, either because you're fitting a very big window and you don't want the added weight of that glazed sash, or because you want to complete the flashing and the tiling from inside the room. Now, it's not difficult to take the sash out of any roof window, but putting them back in can be a bit of a struggle. And that's because of those pesky dangling finger hinges. It's all to do with the angle of the dangle. And I'm not the only one who's struggled for years trying to get those in just as you get one in one side, the other one comes out. It really is a pain. And I'm gonna show you what Keylight have done to solve that problem. Okay, so now we've got the window out, I can show you the master stroke that has made this job so much easier to put in. This dangling finger hinge that you find on a lot of roof windows is normally hanging free. 
but what Keylight have done is to spring load that hinge so that instead of dangling, it stays in one position. But let me just show you this on a cutaway so you can see clearly what I'm talking about. So there we have the finger hinges that I was talking about, and I'm just gonna show you on the old finger hinge so you can see the difference. You can see that that one's free to swing, and that one is spring-loaded. So let me just show you on the cutaway what a difference that makes. So here's the problem, as we know, this is the frame on the rafter at an angle, and this is the sash with the dangling hinge. And what we're gonna do is we've gotta get that hinge into there, and once we get it in there, we've got to get the other one in the other side. And what I often find is by the time you get the other one in the other side, this one's jumped out again. So let's look at how Keylight have solved that problem. So here it is, this is the Keylight solution. They've taken away the dangle from that hinge. The spring-loaded hinge means that it stays where it is and you can just put it into that housing perfectly easily and accurately. And then of course, just close the window and it pops that lock into place. It's as easy as that. It's a simple thing, but it's made such a huge difference to the fitting of the window. Now I'm gonna show you how to do it for real. So far, what I've dealt with is two very good reasons why I choose to fit key light windows, but of course not all about me. There's gotta be benefits for the consumer as well. So, you can see from this window that it's a high quality window. It looks every bit as good as other leading manufacturers' windows. It's made from slow grown timber. It's got a 10 year guarantee on the sealed unit and it achieves the same kind of U values. In other words, 1.3, which is the minimum that you should be looking for but there's also other benefits. Now, it might surprise you to know, and it certainly surprised me when I found out that the real culprit in cold bridging on roof windows is not the double glazing, but it's what happens around the frame in what I call the gap. Now, why is that gap there? The gap is there because all manufacturers recommend a minimum of 20 millimeters around the edge to allow for adjustment, allow you to square it up in the opening. But what happens to that gap? that gap is actually a source of thermal bridging. And on a cold day, that can actually lead to condensation around the frame. Now we all know that houses are being sealed up and the moisture isn't escaping as it was, so if it's got any opportunity to find a cold spot and start condensing, it will. And of course, as we all know, condensation leads to ugly black mold. So suddenly, your lovely window isn't looking quite so nice. So, what do manufacturers do about it? They all acknowledge it's a problem, so what they do is they provide a thermal collar to go around the edge. Now that thermal collar is sold as an extra, and in some cases that can cost you 30 pounds or so, and of course if you're on a tight price, that's 30 pounds that you might not want to pay. Well, I was talking to a merchant, and they said to me, we can get the thermal collar, we can order them in, but we don't stock them because nobody asked for them, we just wouldn't sell them. So that proves that in a lot of cases, that thermal collar isn't being fitted. Now I've got an overriding principle, and that is that if anything's that critical in the building industry, it ought to be designed out. In other words, they ought to find a way of overcoming it so it's no longer the responsibility of the builder. And that's exactly what Keylight have done. They've taken responsibility for thermally insulating around the window by building in a thermal collar. Now this insulation is an expanding foam which is actually set into the window at no extra cost. It comes as standard and you can't actually complete the installation of the window without activating this thermal collar. And to do that you simply pull the ripcord and the foam starts to expand and it continues expanding for 24 hours. But you don't have to wait for 24 hours before you continue to line out the window and so on. You can carry on safe in the knowledge that this foam will continue to expand and fill that gap perfectly. So it insulates around that window absolutely 100%. 
So that's the thermal collar, but let's have a look on the window to see just how well it works. So that thermal collar is now happily expanding and will continue to expand on its own for 24 hours, but I really think that that unique innovation needs to be acknowledged and supported because it's great to see a manufacturer taking responsibility for it rather than just passing the buck and blaming the builder. So I hope in this short video that I've shown you that Keylight have managed to make that window a lot easier to fit with that flick fit bracket and that spring loaded hinge. They've also managed to make it more thermally efficient out of the box with that built in thermal collar at no extra cost. And of course it sits lower in the roof. So you're really getting bang for buck, but don't take my word for it. Check it out with your merchant. And I think you'll find that this is a very competitive window.